All right, folks, you know what time it is. You see your screen. It is time for Monday's edition of the A scene, and we are starting off with a recap of Luda Day weekend, baby. It was busy. It was bustling. You should have been there. Okay, now that's just a taste of the energy. Let's take a look. <laughs> Look at them, they are going crazy. The energy went down at Ludacris's celebrity basketball game last night at Morehouse. And on top of that, the College Park native also hosted a celebrity golf and bowling tournament and a VIP top golf experience with celebrity appearances ranging from, you see them right there, Tyrese, Jamie Foxx, so many celebrities. Also Jermaine Dupri, John Wall, also in the building, Lance Gross and Megan Good. If you weren't there, you definitely missed out. But guess what? There was one event that's extremely close to his heart. The Ludacris Foundation also hosted a youth empowerment summit for dozens of Metro Atlanta teen girls. It was an opportunity for the rapper and John Casablanca to roll out the red carpet showing the teens brand building, mentorship from Ludacris's mother, Miss Roberta, and actress Megan Good, to name a few. The girls were encouraged to dream big, and the event ended with a bang when the girls strutted their stuff on a runway in front of their parents. I love this event every year. And a huge congratulations to Dragon Con for another successful year. 85,000 fans converged downtown to celebrate science fiction, fantasy, pop culture, and gaming. And uh, guess what? They came from all over the world. There were sci-fi acting workshops, character design workshops, even autograph opportunities from stars of shows that film right here like Black Lightning. Wes, I tell you, if you didn't see it, I'm sure you saw it on social media. Oh yeah, a bunch of my friends from Atlanta always go to the Dragon Con parade, no matter what, every single year. It's awesome. It's like a family thing here in town. Great. <laughs>